Let's do a simple review of fractions. First, I'd like to simplify a couple of fractions, a couple of different methods. 49 over 56. In the numerator, I can factor the 49 into 7 times 7, and I can factor the denominator into 7 times 8. And then I can see that I can remove the common factor of 7 on the top and on the bottom because they are equivalent to the number 1. I'd just like you to kind of see this because this will be useful later in the semester. They are equivalent to the number 1, and I can reduce this fraction to be called 7 over 8. If there's any chance that you can see it before you do any factorizations, if you can see that a 7 divides into both the numerator and into the denominator, go ahead and reduce quickly like that. Let's say that you have a fraction that's not easily um, observed. You cannot see the common factor like 48 over 27. One of the things that you can do is you can factor both the numerator and the denominator into the product of their prime factors. I'm just going to show the number 48 off to the side here. I can factor it into its prime factors by first calling it 2 times 24. The number 24 is the same thing as 2 times 12. The number 12 is the same thing as 2 times 6. And finally, the number 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. So the prime factors of 48 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The number 27 has uh, factors of 3, and as a matter of fact, it is 3 times 3 times 3 are the prime factors of the number 27. And finally, I can remove the common factor of 3 in the top and on the bottom, and there's nothing else that can be removed, no values that are the same, common factors. In the numerator, I will have 16, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, over 9, and I'm done. And I can leave my answer as an improper fraction.